Okay, guys, I have not done a YouTube reading in a few weeks. And honestly, Aquarius has been on my mind. I just haven't been able to do a YouTube reading. So we are going to do Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cross Watchers. I don't know why Aquarius has been on my mind. I know I haven't done a reading for you guys in a while. But let's see what's going on with my Aquariuses. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cross Watchers. Let's get one overall card for Aquarius energy here. And I'm going to do one unextended on my Patreon. All right, someone has a decision to make. I also feel like something false has been presented to you or something is an illusion or you're, you're starting to see the forest through the trees. Perhaps someone presented something to you that seemed a certain way, but you're also, there's a lot of Neptune energy with you. So be careful of like fantasy or getting lost in like an idea of something rather than the reality of it, okay? Um, whatever you are wishing for you're gonna have success i feel like you guys might have a fear like if i choose the wrong path i'm not gonna have success you're gonna choose the right path i'm hearing all right um king of swords reverse gemini libra aquarius uh someone may have said something to you that made you doubt yourself or instilled some like negative beliefs in you about yourself i think that's what's false and you're going to get your confidence back. So whoever was sort of like almost like abusive towards you or made you doubt yourself, that was their own issue they were projecting on you. And I feel like you guys are going to start to realize that. Um, you're going to start to see the forest through the trees because you haven't been seen clearly, but I feel like you will, okay? Then you have Knight of Swords. And then you're going to take action here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again. You're going to just say, you know what, F it. I don't care what anyone says. Perhaps it was like a father figure or something. And you're just going to go after what you want. And what feels like was a dead end, you're going to create like... You're going to take sticks from like a, I don't know, I'm hearing like a, a house that fell apart and you're going to rebuild, okay? Really specific message. Um, don't, don't like wallow too much. Don't get into like self-destructive behavior over this. I feel like you guys have like sort of lost your confidence or belief in yourself. Uh, this was just like a test I'm hearing, but you're going to get past it, okay? And you're definitely going to move forward. Let's see what chakras here are coming up for you guys. You have Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and then the Ten of Swords reverse is like, like I'm saying, you we're trying to put something to rest, but it's still in your energy field. You, do, you have had obstacles here. That's what I'm saying. But, but you're safe. And this is all happening for your greater good. That's great. So this is all happening for you to be awakened. I also feel like perhaps the person you're dealing with is awakening. They're understanding. Perhaps you had a fallout with someone and this fallout has forced them to have a deeper understanding of you, of the situation here. All right, let's see what your person would want to communicate to you if you're dealing with someone. I do feel like someone just like sent a lot of bad energy your way and you almost feel like they derailed you, but I'm telling you, they propelled you to where you're actually trying to go in a weird way. I feel so drawn to you. Will you ever make things right? You see, that's your intellect arouses me. You guys had an intellectual, um, but I feel it was almost like a, they abused that power. Like you guys they kind of manipulated your mind a little bit, this person, and you're waiting for them to turn it around. But really, you have the key within yourself. You know what this per you know where they were wrong. You know how to heal yourself without them even like apologizing or making it right. I'm hearing. Okay. All right. Let's get from this deck. There was a deck I wanted to use, and it was over here, and now I don't see it. Okay. All right. You have star keeper, cosmic ancestor, see the light by staying grounded. Yes. Yeah, so perhaps with everything going on, the seas of Mintaka, seeing potential, bringing unconscious to light. Look at that. I'm telling you, everything that's been happening in your life, look at this light. It's like awakening you. It's awakening this part of you that maybe was dormant. That's what I feel with this Ten of Swords. It all happened to bring out this awareness. I'm also hearing like flexibility for you to understand that maybe you were dead set on things being a certain way, but you're being open to changing your mindset. Star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. Yes. 
And I feel like the same thing that's going on for you is going on for the person you're dealing with. And you've got so much, like this is the um, star seed deck, but I mean, I usually don't put pull all star cards. So the star is Aquarius in the tarot, which is interesting. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. I'm hearing just to like trust yourself, like a lot has come to the surface from these situations and people may be like making you doubt your intuition, but trust what's come up for you, okay? Um, okay, I'm going to move on to the Patreon part of the reading. What was the deck that I was going to use for that? I'm going to use this um, Dating Scene Oracle uh, from Carrie from Celestial Forecast. And we're going to just get more of the dynamic between you and your partner on the Patreon, all right? So if you guys want to end here, no worries. If you want to support me, it's 5 or $10 over on my Patreon. And you'll just be part of my Patreon community. I channel a little bit deeper over there because there's um, less people. All right, so I'll see you guys over there. If not, have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.